Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check, check, check. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 Madeo. What's going on? Why don't y'all stop what you're doing right now? Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. And I mean all, I mean all, I mean our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it. We're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast, one-on-one. We pop up first in line, I guarantee you. But I know y'all always see us on the street and talk about, man, I love y'all's show. I love what y'all doing. Keep up the good work. How can we support the brand? This is how you can support the brand. Go over to our YouTube channel and under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section, there's a link that says join our membership. Click that link. Follow all the instructions because that's how the only way you can find all the exclusive content. Thank me later and I love y'all. And thank you for all the love and support. Man, check it, man. Hey, y'all heard what she said, man. One of my homeboys in here today, y'all. Hey. A, hey, listen, man. He came when nobody else was coming. Pause. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> this nigga, he pulled up. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and guess what? We've been rocking ever since, man. Smoothie poppies in the building. Yeah, did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is, And you know, it's funny, man. Like... We did this, man, when, like, when we, I, I might not even, I don't know how many uh, subscribers we had back then, but it was very limited. When he first came on here, it wasn't nobody introduced him to me. I picked the phone up and called this nigga myself, and that nigga pulled up by himself, just like he did today. And we were sitting in this thing, too, by ourselves, nigga. Y'all yeah. don't understand. There's never, yeah. there's some solid stuff I, I, going on. You can't yeah. go to him and tell him nothing about what we do or who we are, because he's not going to believe you, because he's seen it for himself. Ever since we started, you, you feel me? Pull it up, pull it up like a pimp. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. and, and, and just, and just kicked it with us, man. How you been? Man, I've been good, man. Been hanging in there. Yeah, yeah. Man, like I said, man, I always call you. You know that I'm always check on you, man. There's certain ones that I just don't, I, I ain't gonna give up on. You know what I'm saying? Nah, and when God do it organically, just to be able to say I know smooth and we rock out. You know, not only you know do you do good music, but just being a good dude, man. Like a good, you know, yeah, I always man. say take care of them kids. Is gangster. So when I see you with the babies and all that stuff, man, that even just Come influenced on. me more. You know what I'm Come saying? On, like man. that's a good dude, man. What you got for Smoothie today? How old is that baby? You have any more? I got a little boy now. You see me, my, my son. <laughs> okay. You feel me, the boy? The, 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 the one that's gonna do it. He it, looks it. just like you. Yeah, yeah, he too. He wow. too. Yeah, he too. I didn't know if you have any more on the way. Oh no, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I just want to make I'm good. sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. So, so man, what, what's up? What's up with the music, man? Like when we first linked up, of course, before you even signed the 1501. Uh, then after that, I seen you had gotten with Sauce Nim, and you started kicking it with Sauce Nim. Like, sauce. so you still you still rocking with Sauce Nim? Sauce like a big old already. Vibe. Yeah, free sight. You know, and 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 the thing is, man, like when I see Sauce and all the stuff that he got. going, Going, man, and just the way he been doing his runs and stuff, and just the way the music is going, man. Do you like where music is right now? Yeah, yeah, I love it. You feel me? It's Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Texas. it's a whole lot of Texas. So when you like, like when I went down there, I remember you remember I pulled up down there on Sergeant uh, B's uh, at the studio. Like you had so much music, man, and you was working so much. Like, like is that still that same uh, tenacity still there when it comes down to the music and just having all of that, you had a lot of music, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. It, it's it's still the same, you know. Shit, but you know, real life too, though. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Balancing a lot. Yeah. Got in, got in a little trouble. You yeah, 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 yeah. But all in, all of that mixed together, though. Shit, I'm still I'm still on the music. You feel? Yeah, me? yeah. I'm on it. I'm on it. Some days I might slack. Some weeks I might not feel like rapping. I might not feel like rapping this week. I don't rap. I'm going to go outside and do something. And yeah. Get me back in the mode to rap. You know what I'm saying? Or go through something. Yeah, I might yeah. be dealing with some shit. I don't feel like rapping. But when I get back in there, it, it's, uh, it don't stop. You feel me? It's three songs in an hour. Or, yeah. Or, you feel me? It's seven songs, two and a half hours. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, I get it in. Like, punching in, punching in. It's crafting. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times, man, like like a lot of times when when people, I know you have fans and everything, like to see you one one minute they seen you with the fifteen oh one, then they seen you with Saul. Some people felt like, damn, why he keep going to this group, going to them? Like, what was the driving factors behind you dealing with different people like that? Man, just where I was supposed to be, where I felt, where I was supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Just where I needed to be, it you did like it just looked, you know. 
it looked better on me. You know, yeah. people had been telling me that, like, you know, shit. And I've been fucking with Walk, like, it is what it is. And then, and then I, people, people, I seen certain comments. Bitch, I don't give a damn. You see? Yeah, I don't yeah. give a fuck. Like, I shit, think it was. You, yeah. I'm going to tell you what throwed everybody yeah. off. Because I called you that day when they had, when you had put so, a tattoo of sauce walk on your leg. Yeah. And I called you that same yeah. day when you showed it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, what's he going a, on? He a legend. And legend. That, yeah, that's what yeah. made you do it. Yeah, and I'm going to get the other Texas legends. I'm going to get DJ Screw. You told me that that day. Yeah, I'm going I'm to get a whole sleeve of Texas legends, but the. Question if he a Texas legend or not, that's crazy work. Like, yeah. Fool, you feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, fool, like that crazy. Like, that man a legend. Yeah. Me and them, multi more, more me and them. This nigga got multiple cars, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like, and he barely rap, you know what I'm saying? He just started back rapping. And he looked like it, he looked, he looked different. Yeah. It look, yeah, 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 so yeah, I, it look it's, it's funny because, like I said, when I met him in Vegas, like, we really, Linked up and clicked in, you know, basically, and he told me how much respect he had for the show and just about just me having all the artists on here from all of them, from uh, Saucewood went into uh, Bread Winter Kane, all the people that linked with him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I even talked to that boy Mike, the tall nigga be with him. Uh, Mike D. Mike D. Mike, Mike D. D called me. Four we supposed been linking up, you know what yeah, I mean? Four, four my D's. Yeah, yeah, like like it's Come just on. always a... a, a I always tell them it's always a treat when the players meet, you know. So we linked up in Vegas, and we, we was real Texas, man. I ain't yeah, gonna lie Texas, to you. Yeah, them Texas, Mess, it messed them real up. Texas it dudes. was some real Texas yeah, shit going on when I, when I see them dudes, man. <laughs> yeah. So, so let me ask you this, man. Like, um, when you go back and think about how, and I gotta ask you about this, when you and Carl was going through y'all difficult times, where y'all was, y'all had broke, you know, broken out of the situation. Is there any regrets in the way that it happened? Nah, shit happened. Everything happened for a reason. For a reason. Like, yo, shit. It, if it's for me, it's fuck you. You feel me? Like, shit, it is what it is. We grown at the yeah. end of the day. You go your way, I'm going to go mine. Dripping south. Do you think it just, it just sometimes things just play themselves out? I, I think, like, like you got to realize you've worked with Sergeant B and Sergeant J and them guys ever since y'all was young. And it, it really has been a thing where y'all always stuck together. Is that because y'all grew up together? Yeah, we from we from the we from the mud, you feel me? From the country. Yeah. Like Texas County, you know what I'm saying? That's that where we at, that where we grew up at. He been knew me, I been knew him, I been knew his brother, Sergeant B. I we been knew each other. Sergeant B throwing parties. I'm a young nigga going to the party. We we Sergeant T we fighting in the party. He we getting thrown out of party, he having to come back and get us. It's his party. But boom, his little brother going up watching Everything like what's going on, nigga playing ball, nigga playing sports, all that. Like, shit, we been locked in with each other. So, before with me, Sarge and B was had a, a, a big run, you know what I'm saying? He got signed. Mm. So, niggas knew who he was. We all knew each other. It was like mutual. It ain't a real big city, you feel me? It's like a hundred thousand. Yeah. Might be over a hundred now. Like, but it's a, it's a country town, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a country city. So, shit, everybody know everybody. Wow. I want to ask you um, just a little bit, uh, and, and I got to get into this. Um, when you look at um, Lil Wayne, and he came out today and apologized, and, and, and I know this will come out about a week after this, but still, just want to talk about the fact of his apology for not uh, being, uh, and it was weird to me, but for not being selected to be uh, one of the guys on the Super Bowl, you know, performance for halftime. Do you do you think he should have apologized for that? I mean, if that's how he felt, but you know, we riding we ain't anyway. This is the time. Like <laughs> this, this shit been getting talked about though. Yeah. Like shit, the north that that's why. The South Highway get, you know, shaded out. Like Yeah. That's why it's big, like the run, all these niggas in the South signing and and going on the run and doing their thing. That shit is major cause they've been, you know, shit. Music is started in up north. You yeah. feel they I think this shit country down the way and it is country, country rap tunes. It is. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's Shout out to PMC. Is. But yeah, yeah. the thing is, like, when I seen it, I was like, man, and I, I'll give my opinion because I did speak on it. It's like, bruh, you ain't got no reason to apologize, bruh. You basically, you did what you did. And at the end of the day, as far as just the way your legacy is and you being a legend and you, you can't take that away from him. And I don't know. I, I'm going to tell you what, though. 
Normally he wouldn't say shit. You wouldn't hear shit from what that I hurt him. him. That so, hurt him, boy. So him coming out and apologizing is his is him saying something that's bigger than anything. That he even responding to it and and, and, and come out and say, damn, I'm, I'm fucked up by that. Like, yeah, damn, be- like you, for real, like it. It don't even make no sense. You could have, you could have bet a nigga could have bet a hundred thousand on that shit, and yeah, the Super Bowl New Orleans. Hell yeah, why well, ain't performing? Yeah, duh, easy. Yeah, and you go get a nigga way in Kelly. Hey, when the, when the next two Super Bowls is in Cali, and it, it's in Cali, it's in Cali. But but when it's in the side, what? I, you, here's here's you, here don't go, go you don't go get the in New Orleans. New Orleans. What, what what arguably one of the greatest rappers of all time is it, it, it's that, wrong. That's the problem right there. That that what, that statement what you made right on, there man. because a lot of time like when Jay Jay Z when it's something to where. Some good going with the halftime report and all that. They say Jay was the one did it, but when some bad going on like this right now, these niggas come. Oh man, Jay, Jay ain't the only one over there. Jay, ain't the now I don't want to hear that. Either he, hey, he, he need to speak out about it if he ain't the only one over there. Then say, hey man, I tried to get you in there. Hey, hey, exactly. Am I right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I exactly. tried to get. Where is that speech at? Exactly. You know, but the fact that other. Southern, big Southern artists are speaking up. Oh, yeah, speaking out. Shit, that's major. Shit, Nicki Minaj said something. She from, she yeah, from up now. Nicki said something. Like I said, my boy Gip, I talked to him on the phone. Good and mom. He said something. Uh, it was a lot of people that didn't like that. So, P said something. So now uh, people. Juvenile said something. Uh, people yeah, talking. Juve, I seen Juvenile. And, and now, yeah, it's different. It ain't like back then where it's one nigga saying something. Uh, no, nigga, and niggas got a platform. It's shit a little different. Shit hit the net fast now. Yeah. And you get a different response now because these niggas with big platforms speaking out. Sympathetic shit. toward. Niggas ain't, the side ain't taking that shit no more because the side been running this shit. That's right. And then you look the at Lil Wayne. Years. Lil Wayne, like, shit. For him to come out like he did, that was sympathetic, bro. Really, people feel bad That's about that. Crazy. They even, yeah. they even really now that really tick people hey, off more. Hey, you know for, what I'm saying? Hey, hey, for all, the, for all he did for the game. Five he did for the for, for the game though, like the goat though, not not in just the side though, but he's yeah. an international superstar. For that's little that's Lil Wayne we talking about. Yeah, the goat. This shit com- it, on, it's man. competitive, bro. It's competitive, and they know that that one false move, and he could be, hey man, not even arguably, but he is the goat, and I think people don't want to see that happen. Yeah, man. I really don't think people want to see that. That they don't want to see him just get that title like that. You know what I'm the saying? Side do. Oh, of course, but I'm he just did, saying. Man, yeah. Other other regions don't. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yeah, like when you think about like all of the. I different- love the. Hey, I love the West Coast. Man, me too. I, I, I be love, on the East Coast hey, too. I be I, everywhere. I love. The, I love the West Coast. See. I and, love it, and I like. I'm a Kendrick Lamar fan, but I think I think everybody would agree that the Super Bowl being new in New Orleans, if you could have a vote on who would perform, every rap artist would have said she and Lorraine. Easy off the real. What happened in 2022 when they was in 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 uh, uh, Inglewood? You didn't see how Dre came out there and all the all and the Kelly came out all there, of and, them. And, and it was beautiful. It and that shit was beautiful. And you know what they said. Man, Jay Z did that. You, you know, you know what I'm saying? I, hey, I was just being man. Jay hey. did that. Man, he held, he killed that. Him and Dre and them. Jay put that together. That's what they said, it, man. Hey, whoever put it together, it was hard. But think about how many his New Orleans got alone. Not in just the New Orleans period. But well, they got a lot of music. Lil Wayne, you got Cash Money. You got No, no Limit. limit. You got mystical by itself. You, you got, got juvenile you by got kid, his... kid. You got a lot of people Come from down there, bro. It's a lot of legends. It's a lot of them. A lot of them. It's a lot of them. That, that's crazy. Like, think about how hard they would they shit would be, and they bands hard. They would probably have live bands on the field. That shit would look like Nick Nick Cannon to be on that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nick Cannon to be on that bitch. Man, that's hard. Man, so yeah. man, let, let me ask you this, man. So when it comes down to just the new music that you're gonna be putting out, like here in, in the near future, like what's what 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 project you got coming? Oh, uh, I got an album from the drop probably late October. It's called Yellow Child. Okay, I'm 
Texas. This Texas, is, Texas. It's what been it, it's what's been missing. Like authentic cause country and Texas music. What he said? How you say that? You know what I'm saying? Why you talking like yeah? This shit hard. Wow. This shit hard. Wow. All this nigga singing. Yeah, we do all this. This this the country. This we sing and we rap. That's what we do. It's going down. Yeah, it's going down. Man. Like, yeah, yeah. What you think about it? I have a question. Okay. So you from the country. Yeah. And I know you've seen a lot of stuff in the country. Mm-hmm. You saw where that um this happened in North Carolina. You saw where that young man, the truck driver who got hung. Wow. Uh uh-uh. uh. I ain't see that either. No, I ain't seen that. You done blew our hair back. He it's <laughs> blew my skull off me. <laughs> no, but the thing is that people he is in the country part because a lot of time when you hear about young black people getting hung, it's always somewhere in the country areas. Yeah. I, it, and I, I say it's different type of countries, like too though. It's it's country where where, where I'm in East Texas where it's white folks country. Mm-hmm. It's white people out there, like it ain't. It might be one or two niggas, and they might could happen. But in the country where we at, it's white and black country. A lot of black, you know what I mean? Niggas trail ride, niggas ride horses, four wheelers, go fishing. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 a different type of country. So that shit, uh, that shit would never happen in Texas County because. These niggas got guns and, 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 and everything at 14, 13. They killing early, so it would never, like... Yeah. Nah, they be, so it's they different want, down there. Yeah, it's, they want some shit like that to happen. In high school, we played a team called Vider. We uh we couldn't play down there. We had to meet and uh, play in Longview because it was a racist town. They said it wasn't going to be safe for us and shit, so they met us. And shit, we played in the game. They were calling us niggas the whole time. Nigga, I had goals in. I had goals in the high school. I played with my shit in. Nigga, nigga, hey, nigga. <laughs> yeah. It made you play harder, didn't I, it? I, I'll never forget. A white boy told he told one of my teammates, he said, I'm gonna teach you how to dig it, nigga. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> he said, Did what y'all the win? Fuck? Yeah, we got on the ass. I went for 288. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, the boy. Yeah, no, I went for two eighty eight. But how did that it make you go you on, though? didn't it? I ain't give a damn because I'm finna go score anyway. I don't give a damn what you call me. You call me, I'm gonna be the nigga that scored. <laughs> <laughs> that what I would be. I was the nigga with two hundred eighty eight yards. That what I was. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, do you, you miss you miss playing ball? Hell yeah. Man, that yeah, was that, yeah. that, that was where you wanted to be. I feel like I still can play. Like I still work out and go train and shit. I still go run and sprint work. Yeah, I still do out still love box. Doing it. Yeah, love yeah, it. yeah. Love, love it. it. I could. I really. I really. One thing I could do. I could play ball. I could rap. And I can fight. Like, That's we, what it, we came up fighting. We just Texas country County. nigga. The, hey, let me tell you how this shit was. Like, let me tell you about Texas County. Cause we naturally aggressive. I already could just, because that's what we was on. You yeah. feel me? So, boom. Texas County, Texas size, Texas, Arkansas beef off the rip. The, the city split in half. Boom, it's one mile. Mile on the Texas side. That's it's right. one movie. The movie's on the Texas side. It's all the clubs. They all on the Arkansas that's side. That's right. You running into each other, and it's, it's, it's smile. It's not like... This is not like a Dallas or a Houston where you can go an hour and be on the other side of, of the city or from west side of east or west, west or you know what I'm saying, or the south side or the, or the north side. None of that. It's Tulsa County. You top to bottom, it's 19 minutes. You actively running into niggas. So we had to, we grew up fighting like we grew up punching like y'all niggas really with it. y'all was rivalry yeah with. rivalry like niggas then died over this shit niggas yeah. then died over this niggas then niggas then went to prison behind this shit I got I got family members in prison behind the Texas Arkansas beef, beef. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 shit this shit this shit is for real like it was just dead now it, 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 that shit ain't no more like it's it ain't like it it's was. on a whole nother level now they got different shit going on but damn back then like we ain't Everybody, maybe one nigga had a gun. Everybody have a gun. Like, out of a group of 16, 17 niggas, one nigga might have a gun, maybe two. Yeah. Nigga ain't finna shoot nobody, though. Nigga finna shoot that bitch in the air. Yeah. 
Nigga ain't finna shoot nobody finna shoot that bitch in her. Everybody gonna run. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. We fighting, we punch niggas having a fight. You get you grow up getting jumped. You gonna get jumped. You know what I'm saying? Mr. D still open? Mr. D still open. One way in, one way out. Tree in that hole? Is the tree in that bitch? Everybody talk. I only been twice. Really? I've been twice. I don't I I don't really club. I don't club like that. that I, I been stopped. Back doing. in the days it was paradise. It was a couple of spots down there. These these is Why you jump. stop? Once the once the rapping start going good, I know like the more you out, the more people see you, the the more your value go down. If if a motherfucker feel like they can pull up on you, oh right, let me pull up on Smoothie That's shit. Real. That's real. Oh shit, I see Smoothie. Oh, Smoothie be over here. Whoop the whoop. Smoothie. Smoothie be at the mall every day. See, I, who gonna pay to see you? Mm. Nobody wanna pay to see you that. That's true. Well, uh, it go from oh that's that nigga Smoothie sir. I know that nigga smoothie. You feel me? <laughs> that, with it, that how quick this shit can change. That's smart. Yeah. That's, that's mm-hmm. exactly what it is. Just because you out. Just because right. you out. That is but so you hear true. a lot of rappers always say they got to be in a club pushing their music, giving, you know, making sure a DJ playing their songs and stuff like that. That You, you, you can't you can do that. that. That is important. But at the same time, it's it's social media now. I can post my shit. And DJ Five, they going to see that shit. They going to see it. And when I do go to the club, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to pay the DJ. I'm going to pay him to play it. And then I'm going to establish a relationship with him. I'm really fucked with him. Wow. I seen you, uh, you was at the, uh, uh, my boy, uh, ald 300s release, man. You went down there and chopped it up with him. That's my dog. Uh, how important was it to make sure you went to his event and just rocked out with him and, and help him push that, that new project, that Crown 12? That 12, yeah. Yeah, that shit was, <clears throat> it was important to me because <clears throat> he a real nigga. You feel me? And he from East Texas, and he really a stand up. He ten toes stomp down. You feel me? I love him for it. You feel me? And and he been solid to me since shit. Since I met him, you know what I'm saying? This nigga called me out the blue and kicked me some game just off the rip, like just to give me get just to give me the knowledge, like hey, whoop the whoop the whoop or, or and he ain't afraid to tell me if he think I did something wrong, like nigga, like. You woot the woot the woot. He really could have. You could have did this. You know what I'm saying? He he put that shit down, and he. And I appreciate a nigga that I don't like a yes man. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah. I man, tell me, let's hold each other accountable. Tell me when I'm fucking up. Like, yeah, yeah, keep it funky because I might not know. Shit, I okay. might, I might got a million things going on. I might be fucking up right here. Tell me if you see it. That what a, that what a real that what a real partner gonna do. That's exactly what he gonna do. That with. I don't gotta talk to Al. We don't talk every day. We talk when we need to, and it's always a great conversation. So <clears throat> that's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I watch him. I don't. I don't gotta call. I watch him on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what we do. We got pilots. Right. You watch your pilots on Instagram, but niggas say they know they lie. <laughs> that nigga's <is> lie. <laughs> that nigga's no, lie. The truth. You watch your partners on Instagram. I watch all my partners on Instagram. Wow. I watch them all. I go, I'ma go look at my pot in them store. I'ma go look at all my niggas in the South store. That's what I'ma do. I'ma I'm go look at my, I'ma go look at their stories. Yeah. Cause see they, what they got going on. They're my partners. They're my brothers. That's family. Like, I want to know. Yeah. I might see some shit. Damn, I'm fucked up right now. I'm stuck on the side of the road. Shit, I might be up the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I'ma I'm a soak in or whatever they got going. Like, that's what I'ma do every day. Let me see what they got going I don't gotta call them. Mm-hmm. Both time people put on social media what's going on. That's real. Some don't, and I call them. They don't. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, I'm, I'm paying attention. Like, I like the fact you said that because a lot of times, you know, I see when your partners post and stuff like that. You always comment, right? Mm-hmm. And stuff like that. Why when we post, you never comment yeah, on like baby. any of our stuff? Man, you know what? Mm-hmm. I haven't been seeing it a lot in my in my in my feed. And I'm gonna tell you this, I don't really be on, I don't really be on the, the timeline like that. Like my partners, them shit a uh, uh, pop up because they come in under my shit, and then I come in under their shit. So mm-hmm. that makes that's sense. who I see the most in the feed. That's who I see the most. I be going to our page though. I comment on your, your stuff too. Yeah, I always do. put a fire emoji on. You do. You do. I, you do. So. I don't see them all. Look, I ain't gonna lie. She say she do because they don't be me. Yeah, hey, I, I do. Look, she I do. know. My shit be my shit done got lit now. I, I fuck around. I don't even go through all of them. I just ah. 
Here lately, I've been responding to DMs. You feel me? Like, I've been responding to DMs. Going off on folks. This, this responding to bullshit. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, I might not. I said a bitch name one time. And, and and I did the bitch so bad that that I was I felt I felt sorry for her. Yeah. I feel sorry for her. She said she said something about her. Damn, I got to find I got to find what she said about being making a nigga wait uh wait a year uh whoop the whoop to oh, fuck she, him. she on that thing like a man thing. Yeah, she on that thing like a man. I <laughs> said what they what they on. And man, they must have I lit her ass up. <laughs> I lit her ass up. I just ran across it. I'm like, what the fuck is she talking about? Man, they, I posted that shit on the ground. They must have lit her ass up so bad. Wow. So when you think about just the whole, uh, like, when you think about, like, the music that's, that's that you hear when it come down to Texarkana, is it anybody else that I need to be looking looking out for? Man, it's a bunch of niggas, man. It's, it's, a, it's a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to get to name it because somebody's gonna be like, "Man, I'm gonna you ain't named me." Man, it's so it's so many, bro. And she, I'm gonna post them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna put them in my story. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I don't want to leave nobody out, dog. I'm talking about. I know if you know my body, you know my punching, brother. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Joe's, I'm gonna say Joe's the Will. Man, Joe's Will, mm-hmm. definitely, man. Like I said, I always ask you about him he down in Linda. He that boy. And y- y'all doing a, what What y'all do? What was the name of that that, that, that compilation y'all did together? Punch in, bro. Y'all doing that? Any more of those? Yo, we, we got one in the world. We really got enough songs to drop a tape. But shit, we just both got shit going on. We've been getting to it. We've been jumping back in, though. After I drop this album, me and him gonna drop Punch in, bro. Punch in, bro, too. Yeah, y'all gonna go and drop, drop? Yeah, to the hard way. Wow. Yeah, we gonna drop that. I mean, I that, got, a lot ahead. of people ask about this shit. So I got a question. Um, I saw this post and I was trying to see what your feedback would be on this. It says a woman says she will only date, um, date men raised in two-parent household. I've seen that. What do you say about that? Like, it, it makes it sound like there's no good men raised by single parents. Like, Yeah, oh. Uh. Because you know, because they think that they probably she probably feels like because that there's be trauma her. in in the household, <coughs> it follows down with you. That might just be her preference too. I I don't know. It might just be her preference or uh, uh, what she want in a man or what what qualities she think they even start instilled in him. Coming from a two parent household, I got me personally. I got partners that came out of one parent households and they great fathers and. I got partners that came out of two and they great fathers. So it's like, you know, I don't know. I think it's the person, period. I don't think the whether both do I think that makes a difference? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. And 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 the ones that come out good and straight out of a one parent. Do you think that makes a difference of how you treat a woman? I feel like uh I just depend. I think it depends on the father. Like I, I depend. On, if, if you coming from a two parent household, yeah, yeah. Like if you coming from two parent, how you see your your your, your daddy treat, treat your, your mama. mama? You know what I mean. If you coming from a one parent household, you naturally gonna gonna be uh, you naturally gonna love know how to love a woman. She gonna teach you. She gonna you your being raised by a woman. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, the 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 negative to that is women emotional. Women emotional, so a single woman raising a boy, he gonna be he gonna she gonna raise an emotional son. That's true. She gonna raise an emotional son. There ain't no way around it. And mm-hmm. some people, so I, I'm not saying every single nigga that grow up in a single. Nah, hell nah, it's crazy. But a lot of people don't overcome it. Mm-hmm. A lot of people in prison because of it because you, they they emotional at a at a, a grown age at a you know. Because so. a lot of time you raised by a single parent as a female, sometimes you have male influences around that help you know pick up the slack. You know slack what I'm saying? It's a lot to come into right. it. You know what I mean? Like, and me, I can't even think of the situation I would be talking about. Probably would be one with no male. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, exactly. No male influence, influence anyway. or role model, and he probably not playing sports. Right, because. Because a, a single mother that put her son in sports, he auto, automatically 
and his father figures. He got coaches brothers and stuff too. So even if he don't know how to be a a uh, uh, a brave boy, a stand up boy, he he got a teammate that right. now he can act like that at least. You know what I'm saying? Your kids gonna mock what they see. That's true. Oh, uh, he get he know. Uh, he got a coach now, so it's different. It's like it's so much. That shit is like a bride. It's so bride with that shit. When you see like um, on the music tip, will will we ever get another uh, uh, another part of Chad Butler or something? Will we ever get that again? Nah, I'm probably done with it. I just did that shit for fun. For like, fun. Yeah, that shit was just. I just like the beat. I like you pimp. killed that though. I like pimp. Niggas be like, ah, niggas, I like pimp. Yeah, nah, this is how we really talk now. I like right. shit. This is how we talking. This, That's right. Yeah, this country. I'm really, I'm I'm not from Houston like, like, Pimp C not from Houston. That's right. You, mean, you feel me? That's I'm, real. I'm not from Houston. This is this, this, this country. We country little boy. You might not understand half the shit I'm talking about. You feel me? Like, period. You know what I'm saying? What, what about Muddy Waters? Will we get something, you know, similar to that project? Yeah, this yellow child going to be something like it. Like, it is. You know, it's going to be a lot of stuff. Man, people love that Muddy Water, man. Yeah, nah, that one, oh, it was personal. Yeah. This one going to be personal. You know, this is going to be, you know, I'm going to talk about the fuck ups. She, I'm gonna talk about everything. Like, not just the, I ain't gonna tell you about the. I'm gonna tell you about the good, but I'm gonna tell you about the, the fucked up shit mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. more people going through that. That's real. I ain't the only nigga caught the charge or the hell yeah, nah. You know, it's yeah, both people. So I'm gonna talk about it. You gonna hear about it. You gonna yeah. What I what I done been through. What I you know, what I got going on. Man, I love that that I listen to that song every time. Man. Uh, that wear them dollars that you and you and my girl did, man. I love that song you oh, and yeah, Terry Terry did. Y'all killed that, man. Yeah, like, bro, I show everybody. They be like, that's man, that whole hard. hard as hell. Do you realize want, how hard I, it was when y'all I, I did want, it? I want to. I want to redo that beat again. I want man, to make y'all killed song. that, I man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like yeah, y'all killed it, bro. I played it on here a lot of times too. Hard. Like I, I put, I put it in in a minute. I like, feel like I want to redo it because I know I risked it how hard or that. Y'all were yeah. on it though, man. Y'all. Like y'all, I mean, y'all, I mean, how long ago was that? Ah, that was a minute ago. That was a minute ago, know, wasn't it? A nigga was still getting it. <laughs> a nigga was still getting it. I might have been in Dallas then. You feel me? I might have been in the D. I might have been standing in the D. You and Terry Jerry killed that over. I love to nah, see y'all do something else together, too. You know I'm always the, like, man, old. I know y'all both go in, man. Terrible. That was a hard little old, uh, like, like a time, man. Like I say, y'all was in, the, I was almost like y'all was at a strip club. Hey, if, if Terry ever just went viral, I it's over, over it. with. It's well, over. She just need a, a mass amount of people to see it one time, and it gonna go. It gonna be it's over, over with after that. She she get fifty thousand followers. No, that's over. true. Feel me, like over. We, we just spend. come back from Las Vegas, man. We went she to Vegas. Lied. We I always take her. You know, I take her everywhere I go. I yeah, take her with lied. me. She lied. So I, I, that's one thing I tell her. I said, man, every time I put it with a group of girls out there this time, she killed that. Over. She lied. Yeah, you know yeah. she killed that over, man. She live as hell. Yeah. I promise you. So let me ask you this, man. Like, so I thought I seen you and Seiko P hanging together one time. Did y'all did y'all ever do some music together? Yeah, we got a, we got, y'all we got, got a few like, songs together. We got like two or three songs, man. But me and Seiko be together, we really be having fun. Like, I mean, it look like that. That's my that's like we gonna make music like for sure. Like we gonna make music. We always having fun. Like we going out or he coming, he was at the crib or we fucking with each other. That's my that's my dog. My dog. I love it. My dog just seen me fight. He like y'all, he, y'all got the where was y'all where was you at? I'm fighting at, at the at the artist house at the mansion. <laughs> back when I was with the other, the other, you know what I'm saying? I'm fighting. We, we but the nigga watching me fight. He tell everybody. He'll tell that's crazy, man. He like that's a real. That's nigga. my nigga. Like. That's my nigga. And that's hard, man. So uh, when it comes down to it, man, like like you you definitely one of them guys that I'm always bring on the show, man. I'm always show love and respect to. And uh, anytime you're doing a project, you know you're always welcome to come through and drop something off to your boy, man. Come on. And if you need me, you know how to pick that phone up and call. I think out of everybody, like you one of them dudes I know going to call. You know, if if I don't call you, you going to call me or vice yeah. versa. You know what I tell you? You know, since I'm like, man, I'm deep in it right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, 
Uh, I did. I always call you though. I always I say, man, I'm checking on you, man. Where are you at, bro? Yeah, I yeah. do Seiko like that too. I ain't gonna lie. I was doing it more, but it like he fell back from everything a little bit. I had called him one time. He I'm like, work. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm, that's work. all right. But but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him on the show. I know already. Me and him gonna link back yeah. up. And uh, we're going to kill it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he finna pop back out, though. That boy finna pop back out. I just say, man, the one thing I can say to you, man, is when that new music come, man. And, and let me stop for a second and, th and thank you for wearing that boss talk. You killed that. I remember you wore that boss talk, man. You were rapping like hell, right. as usual. Hey, right, man, I need another you know one. That? We need, got you. We got I you. Man, that that ain't, one, man. Hey, I got you. You know that, man. And, and you know, they and, and boss talk kind of, we, you know, we done got a little pop. It ain't like uh, it used to be. Old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> that shit done went up, man. So we done went viral so many times and we always put that pressure out there. That's why I try to bring the original people back and say, man, we still love you, bro. Yeah. The ones who really still working. Cause a lot of them, you know, stop working. And when you stop working, what I supposed to do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want you to keep working or either at least we got to link some kind of way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So thank you for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold of you if they trying to rock out with your smoothie? Sauce underscore pop on Instagram. Ooh. Man, it's going down. Soaking on the ground. Man. You know what I'm saying? Soaking with it, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. We love you, bro. Oh, you my guy. I don't give a damn how you look at yes, it. Sir. We going to always you know kill it, man. Come on, man. Mr. Yes, Baker, what you think about Smoothie coming back on Boss Talk 101? Anytime he family. Anytime he family. You yeah. heard that, man. Boss Talk 101, man. What a boss is talk. And we out.